Rolling Stone cover, a Saturday Night Live appearance, triple platinum record, Grammy nomination to his name. His band over from the Rolling Stones, headline Woodstock 94 and Glastonbury Festival, toured the world 10 times over and sold over 12 million records. That band is called Spin Doctors. That man is the lead singer of that band. Chris Barron, everybody! <laughs> <laughs> is this like a psychological thing where you're like way up high? And it, actually, the, the, uh, there's, there's some of that. There's some psychology. <laughs> Andy Kaufman, the great comedian, had, had a like a fake talk show thing on TV where he, his desk was like 40. Do you remember this? Like 40 feet high, looking down at his desk. It was hilarious. It really took the psychology to that level. I'm not as funny as he is. But, or, or are you a psychologist? No, I'm not. So. And you're not here. <laughs> you are, I play one on television. Yeah. Well, you are a musician, and I, mean, I just have to say, this is so cool. And you were like the nicest, most down earth guy, by the way. But come on, come on. It's all an act. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you should see me at home. Because, you know, growing up, I, uh, I, was, I was eight years old when, when Pocket Full of Kryptonite hit it big. And really. So, thanks for making me feel old. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's been 20 years. I'm 44. Deal with it. <laughs> Yeah, I was, I was uh, when I moved to New York City, I was 20 years old. I moved to New York City with $100 and a guitar. 20 years old. 1988. Hiding the crack epidemic. <laughs> I tried crack. You can buy crack. <laughs> <laughs> and left with like 80 bucks. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That record was like a, the seminal album of my youth. It was everywhere, obviously, all the movie trailers. That's, that, that's really nice of you to say. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so this is like, hey, but when you're a kid, you this perspective, right? I mean, you see the world differently. You, you know, you're a kid, you don't know. Things seen out of reach are just not real. Like you hear songs, oh, someone wrote that, someone sang it. You know, like you don't think that there's a person there. I never thought I'd be sitting here talking to the guy who wrote those songs, sang those songs. So this is a treat. And the pleasure's all mine. Thank yeah. You. Thank you. And, and I have R.L. Stein on the show next week. Who's <laughs> <laughs> his father, R.L. Stein? My daughter is like addicted to this. Yeah, well, come on back with the big comments. I fought enough to deserve it. So I, I really want to have the two of you guys in the same show. I thought if I can get. We could arm wrestle or something. <laughs> yeah, it's fair. I was going to book Don Manley just <laughs> That would be my childhood in one show. But uh, I'm glad we have it this way. It's a thrill to have you here. Let's, let's address this. Uh, people, you know, people are asking me when I tell them about the show. Oh, the spin doctors? The spin doctors still playing? They're still a band? You know, what, they're still making music? And I say. Well, I correct them. I say it's spin doctors, not the spin doctors. Thank you. Right? Thank you. Who came up with that? Well, you know, me and me and the guitar player, believe it or not, we argued about that endlessly because I wanted to do. I've always wanted. When I was a kid, I wanted to be in rock band. Yeah. And I wanted to be in the, the Who or the Rolling Stones. Or I wanted to be in a the band. And just like no it's spin doctors. But I'm all kind of glad we went just spin doctors. It's kind of. Yeah. I don't know why. Because I think about words all the time. I'm a lyricist, and I don't know why that's kind of cooler. Maybe it's not. <laughs> Maybe it's a bold move. It's a bold move. It was move. a bold move. We, uh, believe me, we argued about it. Spin Doctor's a pretty good name. A lot better than the first band name that you had, I believe. Uh... Um, the Dead Alcoholics and Boners? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> or the Brave New Lesbians. The Brave My first band was the Brave, Brave New Lesbians. And then I was in a band with my best friend called uh, The Fun Bunnies. So yeah. It's pretty, I like that one. It's a pretty crappy name. Dead Alcoholics and Boners. Dead Alcoholics and Boners. So it was my band in, uh, at Dangs in college. You don't want to carry that into uh, the, the next step. I tried, but nobody, nobody went for it for some reason. I don't know what happened. But they, they are so weird, right? Just think about like Pearl Jam, for example. If someone came up to you, if Pearl Jam never existed, okay, you never heard that before. So I was like, hey man, I'm thinking about naming my band Pearl Jam. And you're like, think again, because that's the dumbest thing I've ever heard. <laughs> what the hell is a Pearl Jam? I still Jam? think that's a dumb name, sorry. <laughs> but it just sounds like, oh, Pearl Jam. Was, that's, a, that's, a, that's a fucking rock band, you know? Like now it's just in the. Because it's in the lexicon, yeah, you're like used to it. Yeah, I just, I, I've got, I like to come up with band names. I just have a few I want to run by. Uh, do you mind if I just throw something out there? Sure. Can we start with Vampire Weekend? That's a good band name. That's a good band name. You like that one? I like that name, yeah. Yeah, that's a good name. These, these are band names that I've come up with. These bands don't. Oh, these are, oh, they don't exist. Awesome. No, no, no. Yeah. <laughs> I, I've tried playing these instruments, you call them? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't take. Uh, these guys are too much. These guys are great. Yeah. Without the 
Let's do like a, a harmony thing. You're the singer. 